And last night, Peter wasn't feeling well. Peter just tested positive for COVID. Good morning, guys. Today, well, this week's gonna be a little bit different because Peter just tested positive for COVID, which literally, like, everybody we know, people in our life in person, people across the states, so many people we know have had COVID in the last couple of weeks. And so Peter and I were like, mm, guessing we're gonna get it eventually soonish. And last night, Peter wasn't feeling well. Or like, well, I was feeling it was. I'm actually gonna go run, and do yeah. my best. Okay, you do your best. I'm gonna take care of Mary's body. Last night, like 8 p.m., I think I said to Mary, "Can we go to bed soon?" And normally, I'm not that tired by 8 p.m. And Elijah's been sleeping through the night. He did have a couple of. After his uh, six-month vaccines, he had a couple of nights where the nights were. He was waking up more. Um, here you go, buddy. He's eating some, eating some lunch. It's not really a lunch, it's just, he's experimenting with solid foods at this point. It was kind of strange that I was so tired early at night. He had slept all night the night before. I had slept the night before. We did have a long day at church, but at the end of the day, well, yeah, at the end of the day yesterday, I was just tired. This morning we were supposed to go to the museum with our friends and I was thinking last night was really weird and I I feel like, basically what I feel like right now is feel like I have allergies, which a lot of mornings I wake up feeling like I have allergies and, here you go buddy, you want some yogurt? We introduced him this morning. To mango so we've got some mango with his yogurt so this morning I was like before we go to the museum with our friends I should test and make sure it's not COVID and sure enough I was doing dishes and I came over and looked at my test on the table and was like um, yeah I, that's two two lines that that means I've got COVID so we are all already exposed to each other here in this house and with Elijah in the mix, um, we're just gonna, I'm washing my hands and that sort of thing, but it's about all we can do. I just finished my vest and I was gonna say, I'm really thankful that we just had CF clinic, which side note, of course, we wore masks in the hospital, but we're kind of like, uh, the days kind of line up. What if we caught it when we were at the hospital? I don't know. It's one of those, yeah, there's just no, no knowing where it came from at this point. But um, I'm thankful to know that my lungs and my overall body, even my blood work looked really good or looked stable. Good for me, good for my numbers and I'm thankful for that, knowing that going into if my if I end up catching COVID, that my body's at a stable place heading into it. And um, my team has plans. If I do catch COVID, they have had now years of treating CF patients. So they have treatments or things that they do. Okay, now it's running out of space on the map. So you gotta go in there. Okay, well, first I gotta update. The camera ran out of space. First it ran out of battery, then it ran out of space, so. Needless to say, it's many hours later, and I made chicken noodles, or chicken soup, and then I also made like a rice and chicken bake, and I ended up putting the two together. So we have chicken rice soup. It's so, and I ate it for lunch really good. And he said he's about to eat it for dinner too. Mm -hmm. And then, I guess I was figuring if I end up getting sick as well, we're gonna want food. But mm -hmm. I think the other part I was going to say about uh, I'm thankful that my health is in a good place going into this. Um, I've already been exposed. Like, Peter and I were obviously together before we knew he had COVID. So we're not inclined to, like, separate in different parts of the house. Like, Elijah and I have already been exposed, thoroughly exposed. So if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Um, my CF team knows, and I called the 
well, I let my home nurse know, which actually she's going to be my nurse at the infusion center. Long story. But um, I'm supposed to go tomorrow for IVIG. And she said their COVID policy, because I was like, obviously I can't come because somebody in the house has COVID. And she said the COVID policy now is that if you test negative, which I tested negative, and no symptoms, then you can still come. So I was like, that's crazy because my inclination is like, stay away from the world, but um, it will be good for me to be able to get IVIG. And then I called, cause the next day I'm supposed to have a port study done at interventional radiology. So I was like, obviously, I can't, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> obviously I can't go to that. But I talked with them and I was like, hey, my husband tested positive. They were like, we do COVID patients here. Like, oh, you can come. It's totally fine. I was like, are you sure? You, you understand what I'm saying, right? Like, <laughs> I, there's COVID in our house. So, guess I'm going to my appointments this week. Unless I end up getting COVID and mm -hmm. then I feel terrible, then I won't go. But otherwise, um, those were the things. So anyway, Peter was just on a walk and he sent me a recipe for pizza dough and here it is. Sourdough pizza dough. Yes. And Sourdough discard. Oh, is that what it was? Nice. But I mean, our discard, I can like resurrect it. I don't know if that's normal. Mm. Like I can just feed it and then it'll be sourdough. Amazing. So I'm making pizza dough. So this has to sit overnight. So then I mm -hmm. guess this will be tomorrow lunch or so. Sure. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, We're having fun with the sourdough and the bagels and. Oh my goodness. So fun. So delicious. Mm. I saw that this person had a recipe for sourdough English muffins. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Amanda said she tried that and they didn't work out. Oh really? I don't know what recipe. Interesting. So, this has whole wheat in it. Nice. Whole wheat pizza dough. I like that. It looks like I like the way the dough looks. It said use mix with your hand, but then my hand was completely covered, <laughs> covered in the dough. So, anyway, okay. Now we will let it rest. Look at that. Nice. Nice. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, guys. Well, day one of COVID hasn't been so bad. I got some extra work done today just because, just in case I'm not feeling well in the next couple days, I wanted to get ahead. And so I kind of pushed through. I had a meeting on the phone. Well, it was supposed to be an in-person meeting today, but switched it to a video call. And um, I, was, I think just getting stuff done this afternoon kind of distracted me but I'm feeling like I was last night where I'm just like okay I'm pretty tired it's 7 15 Elijah just went to bed and <sighs> Mary's feeling pretty tired too so I think we're just gonna go maybe watch a show and take it easy for the night and uh, try to rest up and hopefully this little journey with COVID won't last too long. So my throat does feel like I woke up this morning and I, it, it felt like some mornings I wake up and my allergies from seasonal allergies are just, I have a sore throat or um, runny nose, but that's how it felt this morning. This, this evening, it kind of feels like, okay, I feel like I have a cold is what it feels like. So anyways, thanks for tuning in guys. Thanks for all your love support. Hey you guys, before this vlog continues, I did want to jump in here as a little update because you guys have been on this journey with us and I know that you care about us and we appreciate that. So Fast forward, yes, we all got COVID, and fast forward, we all are recovered now. 
I am so grateful to say that my body handled it well. You will see in the coming vlogs that I didn't feel great, but it was very mild for me. I also wanted to let you guys know if you have cystic fibrosis and you have not yet gotten COVID, I know a lot of my friends <clears throat> who have CF, like, like me, we haven't had it in the last two and a half years and now we're getting it. And you know, there's a lot of unknowns with CF and COVID. And I did get an email about Trichafta. This is from my CF team. So ask your CF team, obviously. But they were, they were talking about how taking Paxlovid will increase the serum concentrations of Trichafta, AKA it's not, it doesn't really work together well. It might be okay if you alter a dose or something of Trichafta, but definitely if you end up getting COVID and you talk to an urgent care doctor and they prescribe Paxlovid, talk to your CF doctor before taking it. So all of that to say, I did not take any of those treatments or infusions. I was able to handle um, COVID without those. But if you are somebody who needs those, talk to your CF doctor first. But um, yeah, so if you are fighting COVID right now, we are fighting with you and we're here to remind you that you got this. <laughs>